I was like absent for this two weeks, right? So school work and tuition work I was doing. Oh, okay, okay, fine, fine. So, so you can have just one as well. As I didn't receive any anything. Okay, you're not receiving anything in the WhatsApp. Not in WhatsApp, just um, a portal. I didn't see receive the chemistry assignment. Okay, fine. Then I will have to check about it. Okay. Okay, sir. You should be receiving. Yeah. <clears throat> Please write another question. Eighteen gram of glucose. was dissolved in one kg of water. Calculate the temperature. Calculate the temperature at which the solution will boil. Okay. You can calculate yes or no, please tell me. Yes, sir. Let me know if you need some help. Saf, let me know if you are stuck, okay? Uh, okay, sir.
No, Saf, that is not right. You have got something, but it is not uh, what we are looking for. You have to calculate the temperature at which solution will boil. Anna? And what you have calculated? You have calculated the delta TV. Am I right, sir? Yes or no? Yes. Now you tell me how will you? So what is this delta TV? It is also equal to what? Uh, TP minus delta. Huh. TD, TV minus? TV minus? T not B and it is equal to KB into M. So KB and M you have calculated, you have to calculate TB. It will be T not B plus KB into M. Calculate this now. What will be the value for T not B? Uh, 373. Yeah, 0.15. Got the answer, yes or no, please tell me, 373 point? 202 Kelvin? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, let us write the next colligative property, that is depression in freezing point. Depression in freezing point. Okay. Now, what is freezing point? First of all, let us write that the freezing point is the temperature at which the vapor pressure of the vapor pressure of solid and liquid of a substance becomes equal. What will happen to the freezing point? What will happen at the freezing point? The vapor pressure of solid and liquid of a substance it will become equal they will be equal now that means we have to know what is the vapor pressure of the solid of the substance right so for that we will need a plot now in this we will be measuring vapor pressure here and we will be measuring the temperature here Temperature will be in Kelvin scale. Please listen, don't bite now. Now, when we look at a pure liquid, it will have a vapor pressure which will be moving like this. So in solid state, there will be some vapor pressure, very little vapor pressure. And as we increase the temperature, the vapor pressure will also increase, but the vapor, the increase in vapor pressure will be very low. Will you see something like this for solid state? But let us suppose that at this point, what is happening? It is getting converted to liquid state. Now, when it gets converted to liquid state, the vapor pressure will increase very rapidly with respect to temperature like this. Okay. Now, here we have this is solid and this is liquid. Now, this is for the solvent. This is for what? This is for solvent. Okay. This is for solvent. Let us look what will happen if I have a solution. We know that the vapor pressure of solution will be lower than that of the solvent. We we'll start from here. And as we cool it down,
it will reach the vapor pressure of solid at this point and if i drop a line this will be the temperature in which the solution will boil and this is the temperature at which the sorry this is the temperature at which the solution will freeze and the white line is the temperature at which the solution will sorry the solvent will freeze so this will be t not f the red one will be tf and the difference between these two will be equal to what delta tf is this clear yes or no please tell me sir yes sir and so delta tf will be equal to t not f which is higher minus tf which is lower okay so what is this t not f it is the freezing point of solvent and what is this this is the freezing point of solution and this delta tf is what it is the depression in freezing point also now if i continue like this and if i say that delta tf that means the depression in freezing point the lowering in freezing point will be directly proportion to the concentration of solute that we have we are adding if i add more and more solute the freezing point is getting lower and lower that means the difference between the solvent and solution's freezing point it will be increasing if i increase the concentration of the solute is that right is under please tell me can you repeat again ha huh. what is happening if i am adding solute the the freezing point is decreasing yes correct what will happen if i keep on adding the freezing point will keep on decreasing yes that means the gap between these two will be increasing na right? yes or no yes sir ha na and that is why delta tf it is the depression in freezing point which is directly proportional to the concentration and the concentration term which is directly proportional to tf is found out to be molality and similar to <clears throat> elevation in boiling point we can also write delta tf is equal to kf into molality is this clear yes or no please tell me sir yes sir now what is kf kf will be molar depression constant It has also another name, which is known as depression in freezing point constant. Also known as cryoscopic constant. Okay. So let us write a few points. molar depression constant that is kf so delta ts is equal to kf into m first of all we will calculate the unit of kf so kf will be equal to delta tf upon m which will be delta tf will be in kelvin molality will be in moles per kg now kelvin will be there mole will get up of it will become mole inverse kg inverse will be over and it will become kg mole inverse hai na and similarly we can also write for a specific case that is of one molar solution for a one molar solution what will be there delta tf it will be equal to kf into 1 hai na and hence we can write what is kf it is the depression in freezing point when the concentration of solution is one molar right kf is the depression in freezing point
when one mole of solute is dissolved per kg of solvent clear yes or no please tell me yes sir that self yes okay now let us write what will we write tell me what will be the topic ha uh, osmotic pressure no not osmotic pressure <laughs> look at uh, elevation in boiling point and just tell me now what did we do after this hmm We wrote the formula. Huh? What? We wrote the formula. No. No. What did we write after the level elevation constant? What was the topic? There was something determination of. Huh? No. Did we write? What did we write? I didn't write the whole thing. I just wrote the formula. ये नहीं लिखा था आपने ये या आई रोड सर जस्ट नॉट द सब हेडिंग सो व्हाट डिड वी व्हाट डिड यू राइट देन डायरेक्टली फ्रॉम द फॉर्मूला व्हाई अच्छा व्हाई डिड आई राइट देन दिस वन कल मी हां सर व्हाई डिड आई राइट दिस डू यू स्किप द सब हेडिंग्स लाइक दिस सर टेल मी नो इट इज सो नाइस Why you did you skip? But right here, okay. And there also you will write it, okay. After the class, okay, yeah. sir. Hmm. Okay. Right. Determination of molar mass. Determination of molar mass of solute using what? Tell me, sir. Using uh, delta T F. Very good. Delta T F. Okay. Now, can you derive it yourself? Looking at the boiling point, tell me. Yes, sir. Hmm. Yes. Okay. Try, yeah. Okay, so did you derive? 
yes sir done theek hai now i will write and you will just check it okay so delta tf will be equal to kf into m and then what we can write m as we can write it as kf into number of moles of solute divided by mass of solvent in kg and further on kf will be now kf into number of moles will be wb upon mb into wa in kg delta tf and from here we can write mb will be equal to kf into wb upon delta tf into wa in kg we can also write this as kf into wb upon delta tf into wa if i write this in grams then i will have to multiply 1000 here clear as if you sir no please tell me yes sir okay now i'll write a question One point zero two gram. Sir, can you scroll up again? Ah. क्या नहीं लिखा आपने? Subheading. No, uh, above it. What you wrote? Yes. लिख लिया ना? One minute. One minute. अच्छा लिख के लिख के लिख के. Let me know when you are done. Okay. Yes. Sir. All right. The question: One point zero two gram of urea, when dissolved in ninety eight point five gram of certain solvent, ninety eight point five gram of certain solvent decreases its Freezing point by zero point two one one Kelvin. Okay, this is one case. Another case is one point six grams of unknown solvent. Sorry, one point six gram of unknown compound. When dissolved in When dissolved in eighty six grams of eighty six grams of same solvent, the freezing point decreases by zero point three four Kelvin. Zero point three four Kelvin. Calculate the molar mass of the unknown compound. Did you write the question, sir? Yes, sir. Okay. So as you can see, there are two cases here. Okay. There is first case when one point zero two gram of urea. What is urea? Urea is C double bond O, and there are two NH two given. Its molar mass is sixty grams per mole. Okay. When one point zero two gram of urea is dissolved in ninety eight point five grams of a certain solvent, solvent it is not given what solvent. It is saying it decreases the freezing point by zero point two one one Kelvin. Okay, it decreases the freezing point by 
some 0.211 kelvin that means the delta tf is given now <clears throat> what we will do we will write the case one what is the case one 1.02 gram of urea in 98.5 gram of solvent and delta tf is given as tell me what is the delta tf here what is the value of delta tf 0.211 very good 0.211 kelvin now here we can write the delta tf is equal to kf into molality hai na now each and everything is given kf is not given you will see how the kf into nb upon wa in kg then we can write this as k into wb upon mb into wa in kg right and delta tf is here now we can write kf it will be equal to what it will be equal to delta tf into the molar mass of solute into the mass of solvent in kg divided by the mass of solute that has been added yes or no so yes. from here can we calculate the kf correct yes and then we can plug in now here in the second case what is given everything is given molar mass is not given and we will plug in the value of kf in the same equation here and we will calculate the molar mass in the case 2 so first of all you will have to calculate the kf from the case 1 plug in the values and calculate See ninety eight point five gram of solvent. Now that means it will be in kg. It will be equal to zero point zero nine eight Will you please calculate? send me answer in chat send the answer in chat okay okay
हम्म वेरी गुड करेक्ट वन पॉइंट टू टू कैलवेन के जी पर मोल नॉलेट इज राइट वॉट इज द केस टू केस टू इज वन पॉइंट सिक्स ग्राम्स ऑफ अनोन सॉल अनोन सल्यूट डिजॉल्व इन एटी सिक्स ग्राम्स डेल्टा टी एफ एस इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट थ्री फोर राइट From here, what you can calculate? Molar mass. You have the formula for molar mass, yes or no? Tell me, yes, sir, sir. What is the formula for molar mass? Tell me. Uh, Kf into Wb into thousand mm -hmm. by delta Tf into Wf. Hmm. Kf into Wb into thousand upon delta Tf into Wa. Okay. So now please remember W A here will be in grams. We'll write the W A in grams, okay, not in kg because we have multiplied thousand. So K F is one point two two, W B one point six into thousand divided by delta T F is zero point three four, W A is eighty six. Now here you can see three decimal point, one decimal point. All of this thousand will. Come here and it will become one twenty two into sixteen upon zero point three four. You can write thirty four into ten to the power minus two into eighty six. It will become one two two into one six. Ten to the power minus two will go above. It will become hundred divided by thirty four into eighty six. Chali, isko calculate kijiye. Then write the answer in chat. uh it will be a bit larger na recalculate recalculate i think you forgot multiplying by 100 This sixty six point seven five. Ah, sir. Sir, please. Ah, I forgot that. No, okay. Chal. Done. So I hope you can also see that similar type of question can be asked in the case of boiling point, Hana. Right? In this case, what did we ask? So you had two different cases. From one case, you have to calculate the Kf, and from the other case, you have to calculate the molar mass. Yes, yes or no, sir? Okay. Acha. Now you tell me what are the portions that you have revised for viva? Yes, sir. Delta Kf into thousand by azeotrope, right? Azeotrope, right? Correct. So you have revised it. Yes or no? Tell me. Yes. 
ഓക്കെ ഫൈൻ സോ ടെൽ മീ വാട്ട് ഇസ് ഈസ് യു ട്രോ ഫസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് ഓൾ ടെൽ മീ ദാറ്റ് what are azeotropes still azeotropes right azeotropes is not included like this not included so kaha tak padha aapne last batayi until uh, azeotropes i didn't learn the azeotropes like ha to kya kaun sa tha last kya tha batayi wo to batayi what was the last topic then one minute why well, you have to now you know azeotrope tak tha usse pehle wala topic nahi pata jahan tak aapne padha hai acha bata theek theek dekh ke batayi negative deviation Hmm. What is ideal solution? Tell me that. A solution that obeys Rolle's law. Obeys Rolle's law over a entire range of concentration, है ना? To be very precise, correct? That's all. Hmm. Over an entire range of concentration, a solution which obeys the Rolle's law over an entire range of concentration, correct? Okay. Yes. Sir. Ah, ah, okay. And what is positive deviation in Rolle's law? What is positive deviation in Rolle's law? Um, when two solutions are mixed together, there will be a bond forming between them. That will give positive. That is the reason. What is the consequence? I am asking about the consequence. Yeah, like how will you identify? സൊല്യൂഷൻ ഇസ് ഷോയിങ് പോസിറ്റീവ് ഡെവിയേഷൻ ഇൻ റോൾസ് ലോ how will you know that like there will be less vapors nay nice. positive deviation in from rolle's law okay can you please turn a, a few pages back and read the definition positive deviation ka Hmm. Sir. Yes. After mix after the mixing, the extent of hydrogen bond uh, decreases, which leads to more vapor than higher vapor. आप आप topics नहीं लिखते हैं इसका मतलब ना? Hmm. Sir. Yes. You write the topics. Yes, I write the topics. Sub topics. Yes. Okay. Now I ask you to define what. positive positive deviation from rolle's law right yes now in positive deviation from rolle's law you have written types of non ideal solution correct positive deviation and negative deviation yes right and what is written there you tell me that in what happens in positive deviation vapor pressure increases or decreases vapor pressure increases increases na so you are saying vapor pressure will be less hmm vapor pressure increases right okay sir yes sir you tell me what is henry's law what is henry's law Uh, Henry's law states that the partial pressure of a compound is uh, directly proportional to its mole fraction. We have to rephrase it again. Okay, it's not very accurate. It should be vape. It states that the partial pressure of a solution of gas in vapor phase, which phase? Gas in. vapor phase. vapor phase is directly proportional to the mole fraction <coughs> mole fraction in the concentr- in the solution okay so vapor phase vapor pressure the pressure partial pressure in vapor phase that is something that you have to mention and then the mole fraction okay sir yes sir hmm. okay 
so i'm ending this class uh, early because i will start osmotic pressure but it will not end but i have to start in such a class that i will end the osmotic pressure okay otherwise today is thursday and then tuesday will be a very long gap okay i have to complete it in one class osmotic pressure the whole osmotic pressure is this clear yes or no yes sir now but we will write one thing okay we'll write one thing about the depression in freezing point the applications of depression in freezing point okay okay sir chal please write with me applications of depression in freezing point now when there is depression in freezing point we can use it in places where we have <clears throat> where we have very low temperatures in very low temperatures what will happen everywhere where you have water it will freeze and when it will freeze what will happen when it will freeze you will not be able to use those what use that water right now in car batteries we need water and you are <clears throat> going in car and then at 0 degree celsius what happened the water in the car's battery got frozen and now the car is not working so in the in those cases what do we do we add some solute in order to decrease the vapor pressure in order to decrease the vapor pressure is this clear sir no please tell me yes sir so what we will do we will write the first topic wait a second is right to avoid freezing in places where temperature goes below 0 degree celsius salute generally ethylene glycol is added in radiators okay now also to melt snow on road form and salt is spread in order to decrease the freezing point and clean up the road from snow and so what will happen if i will add salt on snow the freezing point will get lowered and if it is 0 degree celsius what will happen it will still become <clears throat> water liquid and when it will become water liquid the snow will be automatically getting off the road and you don't have to do much work is this clear yes or no please tell me the two points are clear sir So I'll stop stop sharing my screen, and we will meet again on ah uh, one minute. Okay, fine. Sorry, sorry. Okay, is this black?